Hospice is a benefit under Medicare for the elderly who choose to receive palliative medical support and psychosocial services to help cope with both the symptoms of a terminal disease as well as the emotional and spiritual struggles. The first hospice was founded in 1974 in Connecticut by Florence Wald along with two other pediatricians and a chaplain. Hospice received recognition by the U.S. Department of Health in 1978 and by 1986 Medicare implemented the hospice benefit. Patients who are eligible for hospice are those with a life expectancy of less than six months. Although hospice focuses on the palliation of the terminally ill patient and not curative care, some medical interventions are allowed. Emergency department visits are also allowed if the patient needs treatment for acute symptoms or if they are actively dying and need intensive support. Patients admitted into hospice vary on what they are being treated for. 54% of patients have some form of cancer, 10% have end-of-stage heart disease, 7% have dementia, 6% have lung disease, 3% have end-of-stage kidney disease, and the last 13% is undefined. Hospice is extremely underutilized. It only accounts for 3% of the total health care budget expenditures and 5% is spent on nursing home care. Medicare also covers two-thirds of the cost. Fortunately, 90% of the population know what hospice is. The main issue people do not use hospice is because they are not aware they qualify for access to it. One barrier to receiving hospice care is that accessibility is not always available. Physicians may not refer patients to hospice because they may not think the patient wants it or needs it. Also, patients are typically unaware they can refer themselves to hospice. The four most underrepresented hospice groups are people living in low-income areas, nursing home residents, people with non-cancer diagnoses, and people with HIV and AIDS. Teamwork is a crucial aspect to hospice care. Each patient who uses hospice is entitled to a social worker, spiritual services, a registered nurse, a physician, a medical director, homemaker services, and bereavement services. All of these members work together as a team in order to provide the best possible quality end-of-life care for their patients. They are also able to alleviate patient symptoms, not only in the physical realm, but also in the emotional, spiritual, social, and psychological realms as well. While hospice is an effective program, there are some ethical controversies involved. Hospice can limit emergency physicians' authority because they do not want to obstruct with autonomy of the patient and the approach to palliative treatment techniques. This is because emergency physicians focus on curing the individual regardless of the treatment required, but often cannot do so out of patient beneficence. Another ethical controversy that occurs is the desire for hastened death and assisted dying by some hospice patients. This is out of their desire to die with dignity. This can also be associated with a patient's particular cultural or religious beliefs. However, this can be avoided with effective communication between the hospice team, emergency physicians, and the patient and their family.